but there was no NBA games. So we decided to update you on the standing yeah. with the gold, Luca. Well, no. So with the most points, the most points, gold Luka. is worth five points, and with the silver medal, worth three, bronze is worth one. <laughs> and can I be honest here? Yeah. The medals, which is not done by committee, it is done by me personally. That is a almost perfect snapshot of who's been the best players in the league through the first SGA. three weeks of the year. Yeah, I mean, SGA's been great. He's been great. I, I bruised guy Laurie Markin and just missed out. Nice, but Luca, Steph, <laughs> Ja, SGA, and Giannis, who is the best player in basketball, but has not been statistically dominant night in, night out, it's great medal standings. It's just great standings. There's no way around it. I mean, this is, you're also seeding the soil with look who the MVP should be. Well, according to my medal, my large adult Slovenian son, and I'd win sixty thousand dollars. So, I'm, just, you know, I'm out wow, there. On good it. win. Uh, tonight's game: two and eight Lakers <laughs> play the six and five Clippers. We're playing drawing a blank, bro. Tonight's Lakers Clippers game is what? Intriguing. Oh. Right, we know Kawhi is he is he listed as out? Yeah, Kawhi. Well, Kawhi's not. Yeah, yeah, Kawhi's not, that. not a factor. LeBron, I'm I'm concerned about the foot. All right. He's not definitely playing, right, LeBron? Tonight. He's planning on playing. Okay, we'll so the I want to know, is this foot thing something that's going to He said the only way he's going to be rest and he can't rest. Right, so, he, and he's only shooting 21% from the three. I hard. think that could be related to the foot. So I'm going to be watching LeBron James close. Can I say, to me, this is not about tonight's game. It is about I, the Lakers won a title, and thank God they did because – Lawrence Frank's job on constructing a roster that is six and five with no Kawhi Leonard this year, with no Kawhi Leonard, he's mm -hmm. played forty minutes, compared to the Rob Belinka's job at constructing a roster that has had LeBron James, Anthony Davis there for the vast majority of the season. It is just one guy is great at his job and the other guy is throwing darts. The Clippers have surrounded Kawhi and Paul George with enough quality players that play modern basketball that even <laughs> when Kawhi is out for 15 right, months, right, right. the Clippers do not sink to the lowest of depths that the Lakers have gotten to immediately. Do you think this can be a LeBron game where he turns it on? I, we don't think he can turn it on for, you know, 82 games, but this seems like it should be one. I don't know. I think, I think do I think he still has that ability? I do. Do I, I the foot is a question that how how injured let is me the foot? ask you this Nick the picks those those picks are getting more valuable I know by the yeah, that's another discussion for another day we don't have time right. for it they, they they said they would trade you them. need to and slow down, down on that miles Turner no okay buddy he that's today's show oh, so. the committee stayed late yesterday and did a tears of FS1 personalities oh joy tail game a scout said he saw them like you know freestyle on some plays lightly sourced and also i don't think defying is <laughs> the fair term because What's... Kyrie and nash were both the coach good point so when one guy calls well, the play they and the other guy doesn't they're, they're both ball. the coach like i mean it's just kind of you know it, it, it's like the <laughs> battle of new york tonight knicks go to barclays yeah. you'll be there i'll be there of course do you think the nets are better off without Kyrie? Oh. All right, Brew, let's talk about this. Yeah, let's. I know this is your beloved team. And I know, even though you are not full-on hypnotized no. by Kyrie's skill the way some are, Kevin Durant. Th there's is Kevin Durant, <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of the You're media. You're right, it is a, a lot of the people. Are, you yeah, know, it, it is a lot and of And by the way, our, right. uh, the, uh, our dear friend, who we both have immense respect for, Stephen A flirted with picking Kyrie to win league MVP oh, this yeah, year. He did. Like there's, and I'm not taking any shots there. I'm saying right. a lot. So you're not hypnotized right. by his skill, but you occasionally daydream about it. He can ball. You occasionally he can ball. Every once in a while. Am I wrong? So every once in a while. Look at that. Look at that. There he go. can ball. So every <laughs> once in a while. Can we please admit? And it is not because of three games. It is because of three years that Kyrie Irving is not part of a winning basketball team when it comes to the Brooklyn Nets. Mm -hmm. It is not just the defense, but on the defensive note, before Kyrie's suspension, they had the number 30 defense in basketball. Yes, there are 30 teams. They were allowing 116 per game, and the fewest points they had allowed in the game was 105. In the three games without him, it is 86, 94, and 96. 92 points per game. That would be the best defense. No, in they basketball. lock and catch up. And they're two and one. 
and we're a possession or two away from being 3-0 and with a win over Luka. Mm-hmm. Are you willing to concede that for one reason or another, the Nets are better off without Kyrie Irving? Not quite yet. <laughs> well, now, first, let me, ask you, let, yes, let me ask ahead. you a question. Yeah. If the Nets cut, because it sounds like you're suggesting they cut Kyrie. Well, I think they could probably do something similar. I'm not advocating for the Russ for Kyrie trade, but a similar trade the Lakers were trying to do with Russ, which is trade a team that wants to get off some contracts because Kyrie is an expiring deal. And, and, they, and, then, and that team can then decide to either keep him or just buy him out. Okay. Because like, as an expi- for whatever you could do with Russ, you could do with Kyrie. Right. They have that's, different that's issues fair. for different reasons. So I don't think you'd have to necessarily. But if the three doors are cut him, Trade them for role players on mediocre or bad contracts to add depth, or keep it as is. I think keep it as is is their worst option, okay. assuming he's reinstated. Obviously, ever since Kyrie made a, a horrible decision to demand a trade from LeBron, it's gone badly. All right, in, in Boston. Started out well, right? Twenty-two and four. I think they started out really playing well, and then from there he got hurt. And they ended up being better without him. Yep. Obviously, Brooklyn's been a hor- just a horrible situation. But here's what I would do if I were to run in the Nets. I'm watching us. They, like you said, the defense is much better. The offense looks better, too. More ball movement. Yeah, they're Everybody's not scoring involved. as much. Not but, right. it, but, it, it, but it looks the eye like, test, it looks like a real team. Yes. It doesn't yes. look like just guys who came together and started and playing. And the spirit up. looks better. 100%. The camaraderie. I mean, they just, they just do. All right? They, everything looks better. What I would do if Kyrie ends up, I don't, we'll even be back in five games, two more games, yeah. right? If he takes care of everything he needs to and he's back, handles the press conference well. That's the first step, right? He's got to handle that press conference well. I would, I'm watching everything. I'm watching the camaraderie, the ball movement, the defense. They're looking better without Kyrie. When he gets back, I, first of all, if I'm Jacques Vaughn, I coach him. And if you're not following the game plan, I'm pulling you out. I'm, I mean, I'm really coaching. I'm not like, oh, that's the superstar. Let him do what he wants. Yeah. I'm pulling you out if you're not running the game plan, if you're not sharing the ball, whatever. All right? That's number one. And then if I see that our spirit goes south again, if we're performing terribly again, then I, I was thinking I'd cut him. But you make a great point. Let me see it, because I think he's virtually untradeable, but maybe a team right. looking to get that off That Pacers of money. deal might work for the Nets, too. Maybe, yeah, maybe, I mean, right. who knows? I mean, so I would look at that, but I, I, I'm with you in that I would look at moving on from it. But I'll give him a shot first, because I've invested so much money into him, mm-hmm. and I'm paying him $37 million right now, so I would give it one more shot. Okay, one more shot. Knicks, Nets tonight. You'll be there I'll rooting be there. for who? What rooting for who? I don't, I don't listen. Rooting I mean, for disaster. <laughs> That's what he's rooting for. Oh, okay. But no, I'm really excited. I, to be so honest, just come quickly, on here and have a good I'm show. excited. I haven't seen Donovan Mitchell in. Oh, sorry. You know what? That was unfair. I'm don't sorry. I have a team I'm three? Sorry, buddy. Uh, I gotta wait for the Cavs to come to town. Tom one. Brady talking about the Bucks effort next. First thing now, uh, oh. Brooklyn Nets broke one of their own rules too. Made a wise decision. <laughs> <laughs> Made interim coach Jacques Vaughn the head coach. After a week of rumors that Ime Adoka was slated to take the helm, even though he's currently suspended by the Celtics. Vaughn's been with the team since 2016, was the interim coach post Kenny Atkinson firing. But the bulk of experience was with the Frisky Magic, where he didn't win a ton of games. Brew, do you like this decision by Brooklyn? It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Okay. All right, let me just put it this way. On my list of regrets that I have for why I picked the Brooklyn Nets to sure. win the East. This is way down the list. All right, I'm not worried about Jacques Vaughn sure. being the coach. It's right still there. now, no, I don't want your it's Olive Branch. They, they can't even no, hire I do the coach. Not right. want your Are Olive you sure? Branch, all right? It's right here. I, they I will can't say even this. get the no, coach right. Okay. I, I don't have a pick yet. I mean, everybody, Brooklyn, Kyrie's out, the coach is gone. I, I, I don't even think I need an Olive Branch to be like, that's not happening. I think it's just right, ooh, but you haven't. But you refused laws, to do that. But that's laws. fine. Take but anyway, here, here, here's the thing. Remember, a decade ago, Jacques Vaughn was like the new hotness, yeah. right? He was in San Antonio with Popovich. Yep. He was going to be the next great coach. And then people that saw Orlando, him yeah, but that Orlando team, it was the year Dwight Howard left or after he left. So it was young. Look, I'm not saying the guy's going to do a great job. I'm just saying. The, the number one goal for the Nets right now 
is not necessarily the whole season, but right now is to stop is to become themselves. yes, it, become more of a basketball franchise it, than a soap opera. I agree with you. Can and Ime Udoku, you? maybe you hire him next year because I think he'll be a great coach well, again for maybe for the Nets. But next year you can hire him. But yeah. right now, so Jacques Vaughn's Jacques contract Vaughn. is through 2024. Right, but they can fire him as yeah, I mean, Bruce point. Goes well, bad. They right. can plan to fire <laughs> him, which it would obviously will go bad, and not because really. Of, Definitely will go bad. Well, I mean, if the Nets still think they're contenders, this they're not, and so that it will go bad. Listen, I don't know if Jacques going to do a good job here or not. He did a good job coaching them in the bubble. Mm-hmm. Uh, Katie and Kyrie were on that team. They weren't playing, but they were on the team. They could have advocated that he keep the job and said they advocated for Steve Nash to get the job. And then it seemed like there was maybe some excitement about Udoka getting the job. And 